is everyone doing this morning? This is Joe with Ohio Woodburner. We are a small firewood delivery service in Northeast Ohio. And today, I think the lesson is, what does five degrees give you? <laughs> and it gives me firm ground. Guys, it has been really warm here in Ohio all the way through uh, late December into early January. And it's just so muddy and you just can't get anything done. It's even hard to run the four wheeler and the trailer to bring firewood up to the pavement. But man, today it is in the uh, upper 20s and the ground is hard. And it's just uh, really nice now for firewood production. I can get my trailer backed right up under the infeed. That makes uh, moving the wood around a lot easier. It's also a lot easier just to walk around the logs and stepping over them without uh, having to deal with squishy mud. It seems that deliveries never stop and production never stops. You know, there is, at least for deliveries, you do have your peaks and valleys. And I have noticed that we get a real big rush on deliveries, uh, calls for firewood leading into the holidays. And that's probably more because of the market that we're going after. We don't sell firewood to uh, people that heat with wood. We sell to people that are looking for ambiance, a, um, you know, just they burn on the weekends. And of course, holidays and celebrations, it's like that added touch to a uh, Christmas Eve party is to have some nice fire in the fireplace. So we did get a, a big rush of customers and uh, you know, customers and deliveries are priority and production takes a back seat to it. I still have a ton of logs that I have to get made in the firewood and that's what we're gonna be doing today. This time of year, it's still a challenge because I just, I still can't take my truck and trailer out to the drying yard they're going to get stuck it's too heavy still maybe if the temperature was in the uh, teens for a while you know that ground would get frozen hard as a rock i can still kick up a lot of mud if i'm not too careful the big objective for me is to get these logs completed what i want to do is get my machine pulled back onto the pavement that will allow me to get this gigantic pile uh, behind us here processed and uh, I have not been able to move my machine <laughs> because it's just too wet and muddy. I can't get my truck in here. So the goal is to get at least all of these logs done and then uh, I can get all these out of the way. We have some cold weather coming in and I think I can um, get this machine moved. All of these logs are ash and I only got a couple that are uh, bigger than normal. This is about 12 and a half inch. I think that's gonna be our biggest one. I still have these runners that are in the ground, but I'll probably just cut these in half and push them out of the way. I just wanna get all of these uh, processed, get them out of my way, and then I can get this machine moved here uh, next week. Let's get this machine fired up and let's get going.
throw the ugly piece out. That'll go into our furnace. There you go, guys. That's about a third of a cord that we've run through the Yappa this morning. It, this is all ash, and you know, it's still gonna get hung up on some of these knots, and that's why I keep the sledge hand, hammer handy. Uh, I ran only the six-way knife today, and I had just had some mid-sized logs, and you know, I could have went to the eight-way, but uh, when I deal with ash, sometimes a larger split I think is okay. The majority of my experience running the Yappa is in the real hot weather because you know I had it in starting in the spring but mostly ran it through the summer and fall. The cold weather uh, I could tell it took a while for the hydraulics to loosen up. The infeed was a little bit slower than normal and uh, the saw speed coming down but once it warmed up I think it went okay. I did have a couple challenging logs. We we're getting near the end of this pile and these were the ones that I have just avoided until you know um, I had more time to spend with them. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take this truck to the other side and get this wood stacked up. And then after lunch, I'll come back out and we'll run this machine a little bit more. My job is just to get all of these logs out of the way so that in a couple more days with this cold weather, I'm gonna move my machine over onto the pavement and then I'll be able to start attacking this big pile of logs. And you saw me use the log rate PV. Uh, what I had found it's really good for is when I got to rotate this log when it's on the infeed, sometimes the knot will come in and hit this in the wrong place and it's just a minor adjustment. But man, it's hard to do it when it's just, you know, your own leverage. But using the PV, it's a home run. And yes, the hooker rune continues to be one of the greatest tools. And it, what, what I like using it is I can sink it into the wood and help pull the log along when the infeed's struggling with it. If you haven't checked out our online store in a while, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We've added some new shirts, new designs, and new colors. And yes, you can still get your Ohio Woodburner official all-weather sticker. We have also added our Amazon affiliate link where a lot of the things that you see around our wood yard you can purchase and the channel will get a, a small commission on it. And that's all from our wood yard here in Northeast Ohio. It's chilly out, but I think I would rather have this cold weather than that moderately cold because we have firm ground now and I can be much more productive like this. I hope if you haven't done so, hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. We post videos every Sunday and Wednesday. I hope that you have a great day.